I'm teaching Elder Tolokun Omar Kunde, president of the New Hope Presbytery Black Caucus. As we celebrate those folk, uh, people who by their own hands helped build America from 1619 to today, we celebrate Black History Month. And as we celebrate this Black History Month, we long for the day when Matthew 25 will be the password of our presbytery. We long for the day when we can look back and say, we no longer have 11 o'clock in New Hope Presbytery, the most segregated time in the history of Sunday. We also wanna look back and say that when we who denounce the critical race theory, we also denounce the critical racist theory. We are grateful to be Presbyterian. We are grateful for the government of our church. We are grateful for the General Assembly that leads our church and the nation. We are more grateful for God still with us in these times. Now the New Hope Presbytery always looks to us for our Black Caucus input during these meetings, which we appreciate. But may our input be one of diligence. Maybe it be one of a reconciliation. May it be one of doing the right thing. Maybe it be one of doing unto others as we will have them do unto us. So with this in mind, we also would like to give some awards this year. We give awards every year from the Black Caucus for outstanding African-Americans in our presbytery. We are happy today to announce the following awards that will be given to our members of the Black Caucus. Today, we have one, we have the James and Melba Coston Pastoral Care Award for pastors who contribute to small congregations. That recipient today is the Reverend Raymond Privet, Mount Pisgah Presbyterian Church, Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Congratulations, Reverend Privet. Also, the Martha Stiff, Aunt Martha Service Award for a ruling elder who goes way beyond the call of duty to serve their church and the presbytery. The Martha Stiff Aunt Martha Award goes to ruling elder Howard Hearn Sr. of Timothy Darling Presbyterian Church, Oxford, North Carolina. Also, the ruling elder of the year, the ruling elder of the year goes to Martha Strayhorn of White Rock Presbyterian Church in Kinston. The Antonio Lawrence Justice Award goes to Reverend Bruce Grady. Reverend Bruce Grady, the Antonio Lawrence <coughs> Justice Award. Last but not least, leadership is important in our Presbyterian and the Black Caucus. And so the Leadership Award we award to Dr. Vanessa Hawkins the Leadership Award. Congratulations to those who have received these awards. May they continue to do their outstanding work in the Presbytery. Now, remembering that the Black Caucus is here not only as a conscious, not only as a conscious, but the Black Caucus is here to be a part of every participle of the Presbytery. The Black Caucus is here to empower each of us to do God's work, to be the arms and legs of the body of Christ as Christ is the head. We thank you. We still struggle. The struggle continues. There are still people who are not yet Uhuru, as the word we like to use, not yet together not yet co collective as one person and one body of Christ. And so as that struggle continues, we will be the conscious. We will say what needs to be said. We will speak the truth, no matter what the situation may be. Our yeses will be yes and our noes will be noes. And so therefore, we thank you for hearing us today. We thank you for celebrating the great African-American traditions in the Presbyterian Church, from who Gluchester for the first African Presbyterian Church till today. <laughs> and we thank you for the Dr. Costins and Melba Costins. We thank you for 
the Edna Hawkins, the Thelma Adairs, the Katie Cannons, just to name a few, the Mary McLeod Bethune, who are pioneers in the Presbyterian Church. And we still struggle to this day to go forward with what we must do and where we must go, what we must say, and how we must act for the justice of our people, for the justice of the people of this presbytery, for the justice of the people of this country. Thank you. God bless you. Amen.